वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू इन द रेणुका इंस्टीट्यूट टुडे वी टॉक अबाउट लाइसोजोम लाइसोजोम इज असुसाइडल बैग नाउ लाइसोजोम इज अ सेल ऑर्गेनल विच इज फाउंड इन द यू कैरियोटिक सेल सिंगल मैमरेनियस सेल ऑर्गेनल लाइसोजोम इज कॉल्ड एस सुसाइडल बैग ऑफ द सेल ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एस एन एटम बॉम of cell also it is called as an recycling unit scavenger of cell remember that lysosome is present within the cell it does its function when the cells other functions are completed or we can say life cycle of the cell is complete when the cell become inactive at the time lysosome come into action in many cases but in protozoans it is active and concerned with the intercellular digestion simply the digestion which occur inside the cell in the lysosome hydrolytic enzymes are present these hydrolytic enzymes are of various kind like lipase for digestion of lipid carbohydrates for digestion of carbohydrates and protease simply for digestion of proteins so these enzymes lipase carbohydrates and proteases are present within the lysosome if the single layer of the lysosome is intact in such case there is no harm to the cell but when the single membrane of the lysosome burst in such case this enzyme spread in the cell and digest all the biomolecules simply protein lipids and nucleic acids mainly it has the ability to digest all the cell organelles even the nucleus when all the cells get degraded the cell itself died in fact this process is autolysis or apoptosis we can say when cell burst its own lysosome and simply cell gets degraded and this is apoptosis or autolysis this is the function of lysosome and that's why it is called atom bomb of the cell when it burst cell dies another thing it's a suicidal bag for the same reason scavenger of the cell or recycling unit of the cell why it is called so so when some organic compounds are present within the cell lysosome induce a digestion of these substances convert into the usable form and this substance is again utilized in the other metabolic processes and that's why it is the recycling unit of the cell we can say the types of liposomes are primary lysosome secondary lysosome tertiary lysosome and autophagic vacuole or lysosome so this way there are four different kind of lysosomes are found primary lysosome secondary tertiary and autophagic vacuole or the lysosome what are their function so remember that lysosome is formed from the golgi complex in fact the scientist christian d duve who observed the lysosome first 
who discovered the lysosome first and then after the Novikov was the scientist who coined the term lysosome. The primary lysosome is present within the cell. If we draw some protozoan animal, the lysosome which is formed from the Golgi complex is the primary lysosome. When the vesicle get released from the Golgi complex and if this vesicle contain hydrolytic enzyme, this vesicle itself is called as a primary lysosome. When any food particles are present within the cell, the lysosome bind with it and now the lysosome contain this food particle is the secondary lysosome. So, secondary lysosome is primary lysosome plus the food particles present within the cell. This food particles may be another harmful substances or any microbes present within the cell may be there and this is now called as a secondary lysosome. This secondary lysosome induces degradation of that substance. But if this is degraded substances, but what remain in the cell is the tertiary lysosome called as residual vesicle as the residue, the remnants, the remaining part after digestion present within the lysosome called as a residual lys vesicle or tertiary lysosome. So, remember that primary lysosome is initially formed from the Golgi complex. Secondary lysosome is the lysosome having the food particle or any harmful microbes or any harmful substance. Tertiary lysosome formed after the digestion inside the cell. The digested part gets separated or degraded substance and what remain in the lysosome which is undigested is the tertiary lysosome or the residual vesicle. Now, what is autophagic vesicle or the lysosome? Is a group of this is group of primary lysosome which remain in the cell and get surrounding the substances. In fact, when we say lysosome is a recycling unit. In such case, this autophagic lysosome or simply group of primary lysosomes come into action and degrade the substances, make them in the usable form and that is why it is a scavenger or the recycling unit of the cell. Some enzymes are present like acid phosphatase is the marker enzyme in lysosome. So, acid phosphatase is the marker enzyme present in the lysosome. What do you mean by marker enzyme then? Remember that the marker enzyme is for the indication of lysosome. There are so many vesicles are found in the different kind of cells whether plant cell or animal cell, but how can we identify that it is the lysosome? So, marker enzyme help us to identify that is the lysosome is present. So, acid phosphatase is the main enzyme present in the lysosome. Remember that all the enzymes present in the lysosome does the function at the pH that is acidic and at the acidic pH only all these different enzymes does their functions. Lysosome having different four types and that is why very important question that lysosome is polymorphic cell organelle. So, this is again a very important question regarding the PMTs or the needs. Thank you. Okay. Now, some diseases caused by 
lysosome. Remember that some diseases caused by the lysosome are the disease caused by the residual vesicle itself. The residual vesicle are the remnants. If they remain in the cell, they induce some diseases like Tay-Sachs disease, Hunter's disease, Hunter's disease. So, Tay-Sachs disease, Hunter's disease, Hunter's disease, Neman Peck disease, and Faber's disease are caused by the residual vesicle or the tertiary lysosome. Thank you.